Hey ladies, um, hope you're getting on okay. I'm gonna take you through two exercises today and they might take you out of your comfort zone a little bit. So just go slow and in your own pace, okay? Let's go into that glute bridge. Love starting in that position because I feel gravity just helps us with everything just falling inwards. Come on, let's go. So we're gonna go for that roll, roll. Here. All right, so exhale. Just give your hips a little wiggle. I always like to start with that. Maybe you just need to shake your legs out a little bit. From here, start off in that glute bridge and just tuck under slightly. Think about everything just falling inwards. <sighs> Holding it here. And release down. And again, exhale up. And release down. And exhale up. And release down. Now the next one, I want you to come to the top and I want you to stay here. You're going to slightly lift one leg off the floor, just a little bit. And release. And off the floor. And release. And off the floor. And release. And off the floor. And release. Lift back up. Double press. Nice and strong. Breathe out. Make sure you're not applying any pressure down below. And see if you can just roll through your spine from the top to the middle to the bottom. And you're going to release in your pelvis here. So we're going to do that again. I want you to see if you can lift your leg a little higher. Exhale, press up. And you're going to feel your weight shift. So you can go for that march. Just hold. Think about breathing out. Gently drawing your abs in. No abdominal pressure. And slow release. And I want you to switch. Slow. Because the actual magic as well is when you're going into these into these exercises, that transition from one side to the other has so much behind it. And slow release. Exhale lift. And slow. Super slow there. Let your body be challenged. If you're feeling it in your lower back, just tuck your bottom under just slightly. So you're making those glutes work. And slow. Double press. And release. We're going to go for one more. Ready? Press it up. Shift on again. If you're ready for a little more challenge, by all means, keep your hands down. Hold. But I can challenge myself. I've been doing this for a while, but this is freaking hard. Slow. I like doing things that challenge me. Lift up. That shift from one foot to the other. Ooh, last one. Lift up. And slow. Double press and roll through your spine. Shake it out.
All right, heading onto your side. And we're gonna finish here. So we've been doing the bird dog and I want you to go into the bird dog again. So you're gonna lengthen out here. Remember that shift onto one side, draw your abs in. And you're gonna lengthen away. Nice and long here. Now when we're here, we're gonna hold for eight, seven, six, five, tuck your chin in, four, three, two, one, stay there. Now you're gonna bring your hand to your thigh. Nice and slow and gently out. And again. And out. Try and keep your body centered so you're not rocking. And again. Two more. And out. Last one. And hold out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow in. Ah, switch sides. Reset your core. Shoulder down nice and strong. Lengthen away. Hold. And bring it in. Let's go. Nice and slow. Now you might find this side's a little more challenging. Or you might find this a bit easier. And exhale. If you do find it's a bit more challenging, just give yourself a little more Concentration this side. Keep nice and strong in your supported arm. Think about rib cages in. Keep your eyes to the floor. And slow. Good, last three. And slow. Last two, and slow, and last one. Ah, out and hold, nice and long here. Reset yourself if you need to, hold eight, seven, six, nice and strong in your core, five, four, three, two, one, release. Big laugh. You probably heard my voice, didn't, didn't you? <laughs> Big laugh. Well done.